everybody, Michelle here from Gabriel Fitness with your recovery tip of the week. Today we have Restore and Recover Your Feet, Part 2. Last week we talked about rolling and mobilizing your feet. This week we're going to talk a little bit about stretching and about standing posture. So for our first piece, we're going to talk about how you should stand and how your feet should look and feel when you're walking around. So we're going to stand up for our first piece and I want you to take a look at how you stand in a normal position. Do you stand with your feet externally rotated? Do you stand with your feet internally rotated, maybe toe to toe? Maybe you stand with one foot out, one foot in. However it is that your natural stance is, I want you to practice standing in a neutral position with your feet straight ahead. Many times when we have these externally rotated feet, or even collapsed arches where our arches are touching the ground, we have problems all the way up from the feet through the ankle and the knee, and then it'll eventually cause problems at the hip. So what we wanna do is externally rotate those knees, screw your foot into the ground, and make sure your toes are pointed nice and straight so that we have good ankle, knee, and hip position when we stand and when we move. So I want you to stand here and see how long you can last with your toes straight ahead and cultivate this good standing position. This is a neutral foot position. This is how we should stand all the time. The next thing that you're going to do is try and walk around using your neutral foot position. So you're just going to take a little walk around your lawn, walk down your hallway, whatever it may be, walk 40 yards with a nice straight foot strike toes pointed straight ahead, and feet on the ground fully. After you've completed the neutral standing position, I want you to try the foot roll. All you have to do is stand and place your toes underneath your feet. Then you're gently going to just put a little pressure on top of your toes and roll that foot forward and roll on your toes back. This is going to get not only the tops of my feet, but also all the joints in my toes. After you've completed about 10 rolls forward and back, I want you to try and roll side to side a little bit. So go from your pinky toe all the way to your big toe, just putting gentle pressure down all the way through, rocking back and forth. And then after you've gotten 10, I want you to switch and do the other foot. The next stretch is called the kneeling warrior stretch. For this one, I want you to kneel with both knees down on the ground. And what we're gonna do is pick up our feet and tuck our toes underneath our feet. And then what I want you to do is just sit back nice and easily, hips towards your heels. And we're gonna sit up nice and tall and just cultivate this position, sit here and take a nice couple breaths in and out. And I just want you to hold that and feel the stretch in the arch of your feet and underneath your toes. This is a great stretch for plantar fasciitis or if you have any big toe problems or toe cramping, we're going to feel a great plantar fascia stretch. So make sure you hold it for a little bit and then take a little rest. Take your toes out from under you. Rest back this way. And then try it again. Again, we want to try about five nice big breaths for this one. For the next stretch, I want you to just sit on the ground or in a chair and extend your legs out in front of you. For this one, we're looking at our toes and all you have to do is take a big breath in and extend your toes out and then let them come in. Again, press your toes out and let them come in. Just like your fingers on your hands, your toes should be able to splay out and then come back in on command. Now this is something you might have to practice because a lot of times our toes are tucked inside our shoes and they're pressed together all day long. So it's something that our feet forget that we can do. So practice pulling them apart just like you can with your fingers and then bring them back together. You want to try and do this about 10 times. Extend your toes out and then bring them back in. You really have to focus to do this, so try it every single day. 
So there you have it guys, restoring your feet part two. I want everybody to try to spend at least 10 minutes a day on your feet. Make sure you roll out your feet, mobilize them with a lacrosse ball or a roller, and then do all the stretches that I just showed you today, your warrior stretch, your toe stretch, your toe roll, and then also let's try and stand in a neutral position and walk with your toes straight forward. Pay attention to the way you're putting your feet and make sure that you're giving your feet a lot of love. I'll see you guys next week. If you have any questions, you can email me at michelle at gabrielfitness.com. We'll see you next week.